Well, we're here still in Monument Valley with one of the most more intriguing people I've ever found. This man does not even know it, but he is a multi-level historian. So he has, even starting from a wild childhood, has developed into a person that reads everything and studies and is very knowledgeable in almost everything. The things that you enjoy the most are? Riding horses. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, riding horses. Um, you also studied the music. You, you have a collection. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of collection of all the music on this computer. There's so much that I can't put on my iPod. <laughs> and you're going to play a little for background music, right? Background music. Good man. Music city music. This is a and this song is named? This is by Romelia Cody. I heard her sing when I was in high school. And of course, she went through the same phase of life. She was addicted, going to a really bad relationship. She ran away from that life. She went to her grandmother's study, studied her own, her, her the language, the music from her grandma. She's well known in the Navajo Nation. And of course, she has a very beautiful voice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I actually bought this off of iTunes. I didn't know they, they sold her music on iTunes. I was like, whoa, no way. Okay, so I bought uh, Seed of Life, traditional songs of Navajo, and then Spirit of a Woman. So the people out there in the rest of the world can find this music on iTunes under what category? International. Okay. World. I think it's World. Of Navajo? Yeah, just type okay. in. Navajo, our traditional songs. Uh, and also you've studied cultures. Other cultures, yes. Yeah, and art. Art, especially. Your favorite in art is what? Uh, I believe I was into Picasso when I was in college. I was so intrigued. He had a very long name. I studied him. I studied how he, he himself went through a depression called the, the Blue Period, which was, he drew a lot of blue, shady, gray, really depressing colors. And then his red period was about painting his red. He was happy because he had a son, a beautiful wife, a good career. And you know, he revolutionized what art supposed to look like. I don't know, but I, I actually did. And of course, I, for me and my drawings and whatnot, I believe drawing is it's like therapy. Feeling depressed, draw why you're feeling depressed. If you're feeling happy and you see something funny or unbelievable, you draw that to keep it in your mind. And you know, out here, there's, there's a lot of imagination going on. You'll, you'll see something funny. <laughs> now, you volunteered through a threat or two that you were going to show us some rope tricks. Oh, yeah. Is that true? That's true. Oh, well, let's pause and we'll go outside. He's pointing a gun at me right now. <laughs> yes, I am. It's loaded, too. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, it's no problem. And he's going to entertain us with Samson's spot cord rope. Uh, we don't have any cows or horses around here, so we're just going to fake it. No wind. <laughs> it's pretty wind. <laughs> All right. You're going to show us a Texas jump one more time? Texas skip. That trick that you were doing, raising it over your head, Will Rogers, that's the only trick his son knew. And in that movie, that's you see him doing that every time, that one trick. <laughs> Texas skip. That's <laughs> sweet. All right, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> 